Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Opens the Box here on Jared Takes the L. And happy holidays! We are in the month of December, and that always means that we start bringing in some of the Christmas time Funko Pops. Um, and this is, yeah, this is our very first one for the month. There are at least two more, there may be a third one, not entirely sure yet. Um, but there is at least two more coming your way. Um, but we are kicking things off with a pretty cool one. Um, we haven't had any of these in a little while. Um, I am talking, of course, about DC Comics. Uh, it has been a while since we've done a video based on just DC, also DC Holiday. The last one we did would have been the gingerbread ones a couple years ago. Um, and now Funko has made some more for us, these ones not being gingerbread, um, but just holiday themed. Actually, there, um, there were gingerbread ones this year, but they were just Harry Potter, and I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but, you know, at least they are still making the gingerbread ones. Maybe next year we'll get, uh, something that's a little more, um, I guess for, for me, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are pretty cool, and there are five of these to look at today, so without further ado, let's get started. So... Our first one is Supergirl. Uh, I don't think I've ever reviewed anything Supergirl related on the channel, um, which is kind of crazy. But then again, like when I'm thinking back to it, I don't really remember there ever being Supergirl merchandise, uh, you know, or not not as much of it. Um, of course, she does have her own movie coming out uh, in the next couple of years as part of the new DCU. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. I think it's called Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow or something like that. Um, so, you know, she's definitely going to be rising in popularity, um, within the next couple of years. But, uh, here is Supergirl. I love the box of the DC Holiday ones. Got the snowflakes in the back, uh, and the green, red and green coloration. Uh, we have a little bit of the classic comic book back there with the snowflakes and everything. There's the rest of the characters we're going to be taking a look at, um, and the other side of the box. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right. And it's broken. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Well, we got a broken Supergirl pop. <laughs> so there's <laughs> happy holidays, I guess. Um, no, but that's okay. Uh, not, not too big of a deal. I don't even know. Oh, I see. Yeah. There is a little, a little slot back there. I wonder if I can, I might have to, I might have to glue that back in. I don't know. I don't think there's really much of a way to get it back in. Well, that's okay. Here's Supergirl, nonetheless. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Again, kind of wearing the classic attire. And then they gave her a little present here, um, and a Santa hat. So, um, I guess they didn't really have to do too much with, with Supergirl here. I did think it would have been kind of cool if they had done a red and green outfit instead of blue and red and, and yellow. Um, I think, you know, that would have been kind of cool because they did that with some of the other characters. Um, so why not do it for Supergirl? But, you know, that's okay. Um, I still think this one came out really, really well. Um, and yeah, I think, like I said, this might be one of the only Supergirl pops I own. Um, but... Hopefully, you know, like I said, once that new movie comes out, she'll get some more figures um, as part of that. But, yeah, there's Supergirl for the holiday 2024 wave. And, yeah, there's the base that I will now have to try to fix. Um, okay, so our next one, another character that has already been pretty popular uh, within the DC Universe for the last couple of... Uh, um, well, probably last decade or so, because there's been a, quite a few movies featuring this one, um, and video games and, and the like. Uh, this is Harley Quinn. Uh, she even had her own TV show, that's right, she had her own TV show. I think it's still going on Max right now, so um, only fitting that she would uh, get a pop for this wave. Um, again, side of the box, back of the box, everything about the box is pretty much going to end up being the same. Um, so let's go ahead and open this one up. This one, thankfully, not broken. <laughs> always a always a plus. It does come with a base, but one that's actually easier to put on, and I'll worry about that one a little bit later. Uh, but here is Harley Quinn. This one looks really, really cool. Um, she has her own little take on a Santa hat here, which is red and black, uh, since that's her usual colors uh, of her outfit. Um, she's winking there, also holding her mallet, which says uh, naughty or nice, but the nice is crossed off. 
Um, and then she does have her usual outfit on, um, except the top part is actually a sweater this time around with a scarf. And she also has a little bag of something. I don't really know what exactly this is, but it is connected to her foot right here, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, this this is a really cool Harley Quinn one. I think this one actually is a little bit better than the last holiday one that they did uh, back in like 2018, 2019, back before Jared Opens a Box was even a thing. Um, but yeah, this one came out looking really, really nice. Um, I am a big fan of it. So there is Harley Quinn. All right, what do we got next? Okay, another character that we really haven't seen much of here on the channel, but uh, will actually be appearing again um, next month in a different video. Um, this one is Catwoman. Uh, Catwoman, a uh, fairly popular character, I'd say, as well. I feel like all of these are very popular in their own rights. Also, all of them, except for Supergirl, are related to the Batman, you know, Batman series. Um, so I think that's kind of funny. But here's Catwoman Pop Heroes number 525. Um, definitely going out of order again, as we always do here on the channel. Uh, there's the side of the box, the back of the box, and the other side. And yeah, like I said, Catwoman definitely got a little bit of a change here. Um, and this is kind of why I thought, you know, it would have made sense to do uh, the different colors with Supergirl's outfit. Um, because traditionally, Catwoman's outfits are usually gray or black. Um, but for this one, it's just straight red, which I think actually looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's very fitting for the wave. Um, she also has a candy cane, um, or maybe it's in the ground. I don't know. She, there's the candy cane in the ground because there's snow right there. Uh, she also has some lights in her uh, in her arm as well, um, which I guess is supposed to be in place of the whip she usually uses. Um, and like I said, the rest of the outfit, mostly the same. Uh, the only big difference, I feel like, is having the little uh, Santa belt buckle um, right there. But yeah, I think this is really cool. I like the, the, you know, the creative freedom that Funko had with these to just kind of, you know, make them as colorful and, and Christmassy as possible. So that's, um, that's always fun. They actually did something very similar with another, actually the next two uh, videos are kind of the same idea. So uh, we'll get to see that here in a little bit. But yeah, there's Catwoman. I think this one came out looking pretty cool as well. All right, our next one, again, also part of the Batman family. Uh, this one is Batgirl. Um, like to see Batgirl getting some merchandise as well. Um, this one looks pretty cool. Looks like this is based on the Barbara Gordon Batgirl, uh, as opposed to the Cassandra Kane one that we did in the uh, Batman Warzone video earlier this year. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this one up. And these all come with bases, um, which I will have to I'll put on at a different time. I'm not going to even worry about that right here. So here is Batgirl, and this one's really cool. Uh, she also has a Santa hat, but hers is covered in snow, which is not really textured. I thought it would have been. That would have been kind of cool, but unfortunately not textured. It's just kind of colored on there. Um... This is, of course, the classic Batgirl suit. Not much really changed with the suit itself, but she is wearing, uh, instead of the usual, uh, I think she has a yellow cape. Uh, this one is red and green, so going back to that whole point about Supergirl. And even better, she has milk and cookies in her hand as well. So I think that's really cool um, that they did a pop where they're holding the milk and cookies there. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, uh, you know, as the other Batgirl pops. The thing with the holiday ones is that they're mostly just, like, you know, the same character. They just have slight Christmassy differences. You know, it's mostly the same for the Halloween Pops, too. Um, but it's I just love how festive it is. You know, it gets us in the mood, gets us excited for Christmas. I'm even wearing a Christmas shirt, although it's Marvel, so kind of, you know, defeats the purpose there. But it's Spider-Man. <laughs> and as you guys know, Spider-Man is always on the channel in some capacity, even in videos that he's not even supposed to be in, like the DC ones. Um, but yeah, here is our last one for the episode. This one is a character, I don't know if we've ever done a pop for this one. We did do Funko Soda Sundays on it, though, uh, and I think it was actually our very first chase that Summer and I ever got on that show. Um, so a special place in my heart. Um, <laughs> this is Poison Ivy. Uh, and again, this one makes a lot of sense considering the fact she's also kind of been a major character in the Harley Quinn show and a couple of other things recently. Um, but yeah, Pop Heroes 528. 
Uh, there is the side of the box, the back of the box, and the other side. Let's see what they did with this one. All right. So Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy probably got the least amount of, well, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's hard to say. I mean, it kind of makes sense what they're doing here because her outfit is supposed to look like a Christmas tree, which of course makes sense. She's one with nature, so it's only fitting that she would be wearing a Christmas tree, basically. Um, her little, uh, what is this, uh, Venus flytrap, whatever this is right here, is wearing a bow, which is adorable. Um, also has mistletoe in her hair, which is super cool. And she's also holding mistletoe as well. So uh, definitely a fan of that mistletoe, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's Poison Ivy. This one is really, really cool. Again, I don't think I really have had any Poison Ivy merchandise before. I feel like, honestly, out of these characters, the only ones I've ever really had were Harley Quinn and Batgirl. Um, so I'm kind of glad that, you know, we got some variety with the holiday wave this year. Um, and I'm very curious to see what we get next year for the holidays. Um, but in terms of all these figures, I think they were all really, really good. Very festive, very exciting. Um, there wasn't, like, too much crazy about any of them, but, I mean, I'm not really looking for that with the Christmas Pops. They're really just here to build to the excitement of the holidays. Um, so just for that reason, I'll give them all a 10 out of 10, uh, because they all are really well done, very creative, um, based on, you know, each one's powers or, or you know, personality or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'll go through these one more time. Let me know down below which is your favorite. We have Supergirl. Uh, we have... Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Batgirl, and Poison Ivy. So, yeah, definitely let me know down below which of these is your favorite. When we come back next week, Summer will be joining me again. Uh, we have one of her videos right back there. Uh, yet another Christmas video. Uh, I think there's four of them, uh, so we'll be taking a look at those next week. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.